we're going to mimic a transmission here with this. This is an 86 uh, Mako 250 transmission. This is the main shaft where the clutch goes on to the end here. I'm going to put this into a hole I carved into this box. This is the drive shaft. You can see the, the uh, rear uh, front sprocket goes on here. Front sprocket goes on there. Put that right in there. Alright, so now let's um, get this thing in the neutral. So I was asked if I shift without the clutch. Yes, I do, and I'm going to show you how it works. The way the transmission works is a shifting drum contains a pattern that for any gear shows a position of the gears on the shaft where they should be. The transmission used in motorcycles is a sequential transmission, which means I can go up a gear or down a gear, but I can't go from 2 to 5 without going through 3rd and 4th. These gears have teeth on the sides known as gear dogs. These are gears which rotate into there are gears which rotate independently on the shaft and gears which rotate with the shaft. The dogs engage together to cause certain gears to start rotating. When the engine is running, the process of combustion forces the piston down, exerting force and moving the connecting rod. The connecting rod rotates the crank, generating what is known as torque. The torque slash power is transferred from the crank to the clutch to the main shaft to the drive shaft and finally to the rear wheel. The purpose of the clutch is to engage or disengage the torque generated from the combustion chamber to the transmission. When your bike is full throttle, you cannot shift your dirt bike. The reason is because the torque is forcing the gear dogs together, making it very hard to move the gears apart. You can bend your shifting forks trying to do this. So when you pull in your clutch, you remove the torque from the transmission, allowing the gears to disengage and shift. However, the transmission is still moving exactly the same otherwise. The rear wheel is not disengaged, so your transmission is still spinning. However, the rear wheel is likely not generating any torque and may even be slowing down, thus allowing you to shift. There is also a slight window when the gear dogs are not engaged between the main shaft driving the transmission and the drive shaft driving the transmission. If you shift without the clutch, you just let off the gas. This stops the engine from generating torque and allowing the rear wheel to force the transmission to move. So you can still shift and there is no difference to the transmission because as long as there isn't a lot of torque being generated on the gears, then you can still shift. In fact, if you're actually riding your dirt bike at low RPM, you may still be able to shift even with the gas on because you're not generating enough torque to force those gears together. In fact, some engines like four strokes have also a bit of engine braking because when you let off the gas, you can feel a big slowdown from the combustion chamber onto the transmission. And in cases like some four strokes, you really have to use the clutch or you'll slow down too much. So you can actually have the same problem even though you're using a clutch in two instances. The first instance is perhaps you have a grabby clutch that doesn't completely disengage the transmission. So let's say you're in first gear and you're sitting at a complete stop with the clutch in. Sometimes uh, on some bikes you can't shift out of first gear. You're sitting still and you're engaged the clutch but you, you can't shift out of first gear. This is because the clutch is grabby and it's still exerting some amount of torque onto the transmission even though you're not moving. The second is either if you're drift starting your bike or someone tows your bike. Now if you're already in neutral you can shift fine because they're gear dogs aren't engaged so you're not generating any torque on the gear dogs. However, if you are already in a gear and you're drifting fast down a hill or someone is pulling your bike like maybe you're tied to a quad or a truck or something then you may not be able to shift out of that gear even if you use the clutch because the rear wheel is what is generating the torque onto the transmission in some of these cases and so the gear dogs still have torque on them. So as you can see, there is really nothing magical 
the clutch does to prevent the transmission from wearing down or causing any transmission problems. I've used it without the clutch on my bikes for 20 years and never had a problem. Problems come from grinding the gears into place or forcing you to shift when the gear dogs have torque in them, whether or not you have the clutch engaged or not.